Hi, doing a quick little video on chapter 3.3, compound interest. Let's take a look at the general formula. The general formula here is A of T is equal to P times 1 plus R. We can see that that's a green R over N time to the power of n times t. All right, well, what do all of those mean? Well, let's look at them individually. A of t, this is our final amount or our future value. So when we talk about compounding interest, we're taking some kind of money and we're uh, multiplying it by an interest rate and then we're uh, putting an exponent in so that we have that to a certain power and we're, we're moving it along um, at a rather rapid pace. So it's a typically a, an, an exponential growth where the more money we have, the more interest we get, uh, and the more growth to the value we have of that dollar. So final amount or future value. P is the principal amount, meaning the initial amount. How much did I put into that investment? R is the interest rate. Now remember, the interest rate always has to be in decimal format. So if it were, say, uh, 6%, right, say 6 percent, then we would want to express that as 0 0.06 in decimal form. So uh, if it says 0.25 percent, again, 0.25 percent, so a quarter of a percent, uh, then we would want to express that as 0 0.0025 uh, in terms of a decimal, all right? So there's a couple things to look out for when we do these problems. How do we express the uh, percent? T typically is time and in years. Um, now, N is the number of periods of compounding. So what are, how are we compounding it? Are they taking your balance and compounding it annually, quarterly, biannually? What are they doing? So let's just look at some of those uh, usually typical uh, N values. Annually is N is equal to 1. Biannually is every, uh, every six months or so, so that means n is equal to two. Quarterly is n is equal to four. And then monthly, n is equal to 12. All right, so now we have the basis of our system. Let's look at a couple of examples. Uh, number one, so here we have, um, number one, so we have, you invest $1,000 at an interest rate of 6% compounded quarterly for 10 years. What is the return on your investment? All right, so let's look. So A of 10, because T is 10, is equal to 1,000, right? That's our principal amount, times 1 plus, now uh, 1 plus decimal form, 0.06, divided by 4, that's our n value, 4, raised to the n times t, which is the number of uh, times the period for which it was compounded, and the number of years. We continue on. A of 10 is equal to 1,000 times 1 plus 0 0.064 to the 40th power. Now, at this point, uh, there's not really much more arithmetic. You just plug it into your calculator, and what you should end up with is A of 10, or after 10 years, at 6%, you should end up with $1,814, and it was 0 0.018, so I rounded up to 2 cents, okay? So the next example, example number two, we have a city has an annual growth rate of 0.35%. The population in 1981 was 23,140. What is the expected population for 2018? All right. So we've got A of 38, because if you take 2018 and 1981, you get 38 years, because remember, you're looking at the whole year of 1981. So in the beginning, when the census took place, uh, we have to count that year, so you actually end up with 38 years. Um, 23,000 is your principal amount. 1 plus 0 0.0035, remember like the example I showed you earlier, 
0.35% actually has to be represented as a decimal, so 0.0035. One, it only happens once a year, right? They just do an annual estimate, and that's over 38 years because the n value is 1. So A of 38, we plug this into your calculator, we get 26,425.52. Well, people don't, um, we have to round up to the, wholest, uh, the whole, most current whole number or the nearest whole number uh, to represent a population of people. So A of 38 would actually be 26,000. 426 people. All right, finally, example <clears throat> number three I have for you is maybe we have to solve for an R value, some interest rate. So what we have is you invest $1,000 this year. So you just put a thousand bucks into your account. You want your investment to triple. I want my investment to triple over the next 10 years. What type of interest rate, if it's compounded quarterly, would I want? What, what interest rate will deliver the amount that's triple? So, if I currently have 1,000, triple the amount is 3,000. That's the expected amount that I want. Times 1 plus R, our variable R, divided by 4, because we're compounding quarterly, is 4 times 10. I want it in 10 years. So that simplifies to 3 times the quantity, 1 plus r over 4 to the 40th. Now, if you recall from exponential powers, if I have this side to the 40th, then what I want to do is exponentially uh, multiply this times 1 to the 40th, right? And that'll take care of that. And then I need to multiply this to the 1 40th of my 3. So then 3 to the 1 40th will equal 1 plus r over 4, which is nice because now I can deal with getting my r. I don't have a, an exponential power anymore. So then I take 3, again, to the 1 40th minus 1 is equal to r. Now, what I can do is I haven't put it all in my calculator yet. Uh, what I can actually do is multiply both sides by 4, okay? And so if I take 4 to the 3 to the 1 40th power, okay, as an exponent, subtract 1, and I put that all in my calculator. Now that equals R, and so... I should get 0.1118 or 11.18%. And you can stop the video, plug that back in as your R value at 0.1118. If you do it for 0.111, you'll get something a little short, uh, but you'll find that if you plug it back in, you should get close to that $3,000 mark that you were hoping for. All right, so uh, been a quick little video on... Uh, exponentials and uh, compound interest. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.